Good afternoon, it's another sunny day here in Naples, Florida. We're here at 43 East Ave uh, here in Pine Ridge. So you can tell the house has a lot of curb appeal. Real nice, it actually looks, you know, decent size from the outside. Um, little carport space. You can see the brick paver driveway, which is actually real nice. It's real redone probably a handful of years ago. Um, they have all the shutters. Uh, look like they're manual roll down shutters on all the windows, which is pretty cool. Roof looks like it's in de decent shape. Kind of have to get a little better look-see at that. Um, but it's really cute property. Got a lot of character to it. Um, little turquoise tile entryway here. Uh, the carpet's, you know, pretty, pretty beat, really. Um, that may have to be replaced. You kind of walk right into the kitchen. Um, kitchen needs a little bit of remodel, probably with the countertops. You probably stain and repaint those cabinets maybe even there is no dishwasher currently um this stove is pretty giant you could probably you know fit a dishwasher and stove right there in that spot all right that window right there is the pass through is one of those jalous um, windows that used to be the patio would be my guess from the way it has a drop down you can see there's a step down right there to that hallway to the left all right big giant fireplace here <laughs> excuse me if there was some way to possibly get rid of this fireplace, you could actually add a lot of room um, to this main living area, all right? It's a functional fireplace. It's not that it looks bad. It, it gives it some character, um, but it just takes up a lot of space um, just, because, just because it's a smaller, smaller house in general. A little built in there. Um, there's, there's a step down. You can see to what used to be the patio, I'm guessing. This is the, uh, let me take you this way real quick. Let me turn to the right. Here's your guest bath. Okay, they actually redid the countertop in here with uh, some nice, it looks like quartz almost that they redid it. It's got a little sparkle to it. So everything here is in, in good shape. Wallpaper taken down, repainted. But it's got a decent amount of storage. Little linen closets here. There's one there, one on the other side. Um, decent sized rooms because obviously at one point it was just, um, you know, this this was this was the main living area, obviously, and main the only bedrooms. So they're not bad size closets in both of them. Um, it's about it um, as far as the two two bedrooms go. I'm gonna take you this way. You can see the door that leads out back. Um, this space right here is what, in my opinion, could be remodeled to make it a three-two. I'd almost talk about. Enclosing it from about right where the wood bookcase is and in, in the, the drywall, bringing that over, closing in that window where the jalous window is. You know, the door maybe, you know, you could probably make this square into the master bedroom if you wanted to. Um, and then turn this into maybe a master bath. This is where the laundry room is currently. It's got a lot of electrical stuff, so you'd have to you'd have to fudge this a little bit because there's the, the AC too. Uh, maybe make that the closet over there to hide that stuff and then make the rest of this room a master bath. There's water stubbed obviously with the washer and dryer. Real, real nice water softener and, and whole Kinetico system, which is crazy. So that would have to be stubbed outside somehow. So it would need some, some creativity to do. There's a hot water heater. so. Um, maybe there's too much going on in here to make this anything other than what it is. Um, but I, I could definitely see it happening, making it into the master bath and making this room into the master bedroom to make it a three, two, um, I don't, you know, me not being a contract, I don't know how much all that would, would be, but it's got good bones to this house. It's, it's like I said, it's got really nice curb appeal. Um, a lot to be desired at this house. It's it's a nice property. You can't really, I'm walking back outside, you can't really hear Pine Ridge at all, which is the wild part. Um, very, very faint in the distance. You can kind of hear a, a humming, but almost sounds like the wind blowing through the trees. This real nice AC, big train, huge unit, probably way over size for the house. Uh, it's part of the Kinetico system again, gas. Propane, I don't know what they use that for. Maybe that's how the it's heated. I'm not really sure. 
yard obviously could use a lot of work, clean out. There's, an, there's a shed back here, a metal shed. It's a big size. I mean, if you really wanted to reach and, and double up your, uh, your rental income, you could probably turn that into like a little single wide. I don't know, you know, without going inside of it. I'm not really sure, but it's, it's possible. It's possible. There's plenty of space over here where you could add a second driveway almost for that person back there. Or maybe even just build a guest house back there. Who knows? But the pad for the lot is huge. It's a lot of space, obviously. Um, so that's about it. That's the house. Shutters. It's, it's, it's a cool house. Um, a lot of potential. And I think it's, it's almost priced at lot value as it is. So let me know. Let me know if you guys have any interest in it. All right. Talk to you soon.